Hey, we have a visitor. <laughs> Adorable. We're two minutes early, but that's okay. So, hello everybody. My name is Nostalgia, and this is a live Q&A <laughs> featuring friends that Skype in and answer. Look, there's one. Uh, so feel fr free to ask any production questions, any mixing questions, any DJ questions. Um, I'm going to kind of be the host. Hey, it's Fun Case, everybody. Say hi. What's up? I'm Kaya. Yeah. I know everyone's got different opinions on it, but I... <laughs> oh, we're getting some reverb there. Kaya, <laughs> Mute the stream, bro. Mute the stream. And as far as outboard stuff, too, for producing, I like, it's nice to add a, an element that you know that you made on a synthesizer that, yeah, somebody else could have gone back and made... But it's not the synthesizer that everybody's using right now. So it's like you have a better chance of like distinguishing your sound, just adding some real noise and sounds to it. Um, so I'm always big on external stuff outside of the box too, just because it'll freshen up the way you're working and the way you're doing things. So it's a good tactile experience too. It's good to. If you use it. Sometimes I get really, I don't know what the word is, just kind of bored with clicking around with the mouse all the time. And uh, I don't have any hardware myself, but sometimes I'll just map things out to, I have a, a leap motion controller where I can move my hand around to modulate parameters in midair, and I have an XY pad on my phone, and it's good to just kind of switch it up and give yourself a more tactile experience. Um, the hands-on experience of a studio is so is infinitely better than sitting and uh, moving a mouse. I can say that wholeheartedly. The first thing I ever bought was a virus TI, and I couldn't. I fell in love with it because I could do stuff. Right. And shit mm -hmm. would happen. I didn't have to like know what shit did. I just did this, and whoa, okay, record this, and shit like that. And then suddenly this happened, and then suddenly like oh, shit, shit over there happened, and then like and then I start a Joker, and then this rack happened, and then like shit like that. Uh, yeah, that's that's it's like it's the most fun you can have. That's why I started going outboard with like EQing and stuff because you're going to get an infinitely better response from hardware in any level than inbox as well so you're not only you're having more fun you're actually getting a better result Forces. but saying that uh it's very expensive stuff yeah uh, it takes, it takes, it takes a lot space. of space you have to have space space and the cheaper you go for outboard stuff the shitter the response so like you could spend like uh say 200 bucks on a vst or, a, or an eq on the internet and it'll be sick but if you spend 200 bucks in hardware world you're getting something really shit so right. it's, a, it's a very fine line between what you need to do with what you what you buy and that's what's what i learned from joker joker said if you're going to do it just do it well do it proper spend all your money and then it'll be there done you don't need to buy it again so yeah Damn. cloud what do you use uh what are your top like five uh right now acid been, been checking out serum that's that new one that everyone's been using it's pretty good uh i guess i should open it could be it could be EQ oh, uh, i got silent i really like silent for making leads and stuff uh, i have contact five which i use for pianos and violin stuff and or like effects plugins i really like metrics uh, the sausage fattener is pretty sweet on certain things, and yeah, sausage fattener. Oh, I recently, I recently got uh, glitch too, but I haven't checked it out. I don't actually like sausage fattener. I think it's terrible. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, there's a sausage. It's such, brutal. it's such a lazy way of going to warm yeah. up and making it more powerful. I like it on a. And I use I, it on my kick and snare bus. So I, when I do drums, I do a kick snare bus, aux percussion bus, and then lately I haven't even been taking my aux percussion and putting it back into the kick snare. I've been running it straight to the master, um, and I don't know. I've just been using it to smear up my kicks and snares so they they punch. I don't. It, I, have you seen what, what it does on an EQ? Have you analyzed it while turning it up and seen what it does? I, I can hear the coloration. Uh, I haven't actually analyzed it's terrible. it. It's terrible. It, adds, it basically adds more of what you don't want around what you do, what you're actually adding. It's like really bad. <laughs> I don't ever use the color on that. Well, no, the colors. And I, bar yeah, I barely ever even turn up the, uh, whatever the other the fatness too. Yeah. Fatness ever like, Some Maybe like the top, it might be 6%. It. I don't know. <laughs> 
Anyways, Anyways James, James, what plugins are you into? Fun case, James. Me? Yeah, uh, yeah okay, fun yeah. case. Check my shit. James. <laughs> well, we all forget. We have forget. to open our shit. Um, okay, so FabFilter is a, is a definite must. Serum is a must. Massive, obviously, is a must. Uh, sugar Bite Cyclop. Ooh, Sugar Bite. That's a good one. Sugar Bite Cyclop. If you can nail a, a noise on that, it sounds amazing and very, very different. Mm -hmm. uh, if any of you have heard Predator, pretty much every bass I made on Predator was Cyclop. And, uh, well, oh, Ederol uh, Orchestral. That's amazing. It's be I prefer that to Contact. Hold on, I'm writing all this down. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <right? laughs> it's the, pretty much your list, but with two different ones on it. Yeah, don't forget the sound good at ISC. Everyone put that on their master. Yeah. One yeah. thing to take away is that it sound real good. We all use a lot of the same plugins, and you can get a lot of different sounds out of all of them. So it's not like you're gonna find this magic plugin that solves all your production problems. No. Except for when Andrew found Harmer. Yeah, that's actually exactly what happened to all of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Harmer. Andrew. Should I just go? Your turn to okay, talk. Um, Harmer is where I've been making all my bases, and I I just fell in love with it. Um, that's uh, I don't think it's FL only anymore. Um, here's what it looks like for the people on the stream. You can stand alone it. Yeah. All right, we got some bases loaded up, guys. Uh, uh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so I think yeah, you can get it standalone. But can you can you get it VST now? You can. You can. Or, that or that's what I meant. Yeah, I've been, I've been using it in Ableton okay. sometimes yeah. too. So. And so Harmer. Um. And I've made all my bass sounds in that. I can't look at Massive anymore because I used it so much. I don't know how you guys can still use it. Like, <laughs> I mean, that was a daily. I don't use it at all. I, I don't use that. I use a Silent for pads and leads, a Serum for things that sound thicker than Silent. Um, and then uh, Sausage Fattener, Decapitator. Fun case, do you have Decapitator? I do not. Oh. I use Devastor. Which I think is a misspelling of Devastator. But. <laughs> I was just like, is that the British way to say Devastator? Yeah. Is that like so aluminium? Yeah. It's, it's really insane. It's properly insane. Um, Ollie from uh, Ben always showed me it. It's just called, yeah, it's called Devastor. D-V-A-S-T-O-R. Devastor. Quick, open Google. Save it. Yeah. Devastor. D-E-V-A. Uh, oh, yeah. I found it. It's pulled up. Uh, um. Yeah, that is the most style. insane fucking distortion piece. To be honest, I don't use any of that anymore. I, I actually run all my basses through guitar rigs now, which I have down here somewhere. Can you? Is that a Pod Line Eight or whatever? Actually, that's a Boss GT3. Oh, boss. I also have a, a Line Six Pod and uh, some bass thing as well. I, I don't like running. I, I think it runs cleaner, and uh, if, it, if it, the more you push it, the cleaner it is, and hard work. And we've entered the nerdy portion of the stream. <laughs> so welcome to my Let's Play Gradius. Before I was born, you know, but it, it came out and it, it definitely feels like it was made for me. Uh, some of the features, <laughs> it just, uh, 